After ending the last vlog in the last week on a high note, with several deer down, the team struggled. Jesse in Wisconsin was finally able to get out with his boys and unfortunately made a bad shot on this doe. After spending hours looking for this doe the next day, he was unable to find her. That leads us back to Fulton County, Illinois, where team members Nate and Ryan hunt Cody Johnson's farm. And man, we struggled. Even after Cody got out there and took him to another piece, we still struggled to see any deer, and it looked like it was going to be a bad week for the team. But luckily, as all hot streaks don't always last, all cold streaks don't last as well. And eventually, we were able to find some deer as a team. Look at what we have here. Stop talking shit or you won't get to eat. Got maple bear sausage and hash brown and biscuits are already done. Don't say I never treated you guys well. Wow. I'll put you on deer, but I'll feed you. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna end this uh, video. If this is even a video, I don't even haven't decided yet. Hopefully, Ryan gets some luck, so then you guys never see these four days or two days of sadness. Um, but just in case this is a vlog, that ends our two-day little hunt camp. And uh, yeah, uh, Ryan will be back out, I know, in his Mercer County farm the next two days, so hopefully he has some luck. I don't know what the rest of us are doing yet, so yeah. Hopefully uh, you guys never see this footage, and we have uh, some deer footage here shortly. What's going on, guys? It's Cody with the Thimble and Line Outdoors. Out here on one of my favorite spots in public land. It is October 2nd. It's my first set of the season. I'm very excited to be out here. I wasn't able to go yesterday because of work, but today we're after a nice doe or a turkey if we can, but it's public land. You can let know what's happening. Stay tuned, guys. We welcome back Cody for his second deer season on the team. He got out there early October. Unfortunately, when he got this opportunity on a doe, his crossbow limb hit the bridge of his saddle. But that's okay. He redeemed himself a few days later. PSA for everybody, every deer hunter out there. Make sure you don't drop your quiver. And if you do drop your quiver, make sure you don't miss on the first shot. I still got deer in the field. And now I just get to watch them. What's going on, guys? It's Cody at the Ten Blue Line Outdoors. I'm out here on my lease. It's October 9th, a little after 4 o'clock. The combine on the neighbor's property is running pretty good, so hopefully it pushes them down to me. I've already seen a doe walking in. Hopefully we get a shot at one tonight. It's a little warm out. It's like 74, 75 degrees. Hopefully we get some action tonight. I've been getting some really good trail cam pictures. So uh, let's see what happens. Wish me luck, guys.
stepped out in like 15 yards and I let her have it. I'm on the board, baby. Right there, baby. Nice luminox glowing. Let's get it out, check it out. Oh, look at that. Nice and coated in blood. Lost the vein. That's all right. There she is, guys. That massive two inch exit. Since we started TBLO in 2020, this is the biggest buck to date by the brand. Congrats to Brock, he's definitely making his mark in and on the team of TBLO.